I've always dreamt of becoming an Olympic champion. I always knew that I, there's no secrets to success. It's all about hard work and, and determination and dedication. The toughest part about getting ready for a fight is just the preparation that involves training twice a day, six days a week. Um, you, know, you can't, you can't let up. It's it's so so difficult to prepare for these fights. When I get into competition, that's the easy part. That's where all the hard work is on, and you can enjoy yourself in those competitions. Well. Just to prepare and um, pushing your body to the limits every single day and going the extra mile doing things that other people aren't prepared to do. Taking deep means when I'm on my 8 400 meter run and I have to do another couple more. And I'm erect, there's nothing left in my body and I have to keep going. It's when I'm in the ring sparring and maybe I'm having a bad day but I have to keep going, I have to have it, you know, do another few more rounds. So I'm in competition, I'm, I'm out on my feet, there's nothing left, but I have to keep going. And it's that desire to win, that, that just keeps pushing me on. And it's about showing heart. I think the most important characteristic for any athlete can have is a, is a good heart. My faith has been so important to me over the years. I cling to certain scriptures during those times. The Lord does not grow tired or weary. He's understanding no one can fathom. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I think it's an absolute privilege to represent your country every year, whether it's in the European Championships, the World Championships, or the Olympic Games. And I just want to make history my sport. I want to be the best. And I want to be known as one of the greatest female boxers of all time. I feel like the best is yet to come. People haven't seen the best of me yet.